Hey, I'm Paul with RockOutfitters.com. Here to show you the Yakima Overhaul HD Height Adjustable Heavy Duty Truck Rack. And here we have it partially installed onto this truck. We'll go over all the key features and also cover some steps of the installation of this truck rack. So here you can see the two boxes that are comprise the complete truck rack. They're actually two separate products. First we have the height adjustable towers or uprights. And then here we have the HD bars. They're sold separately so that you can purchase the bar length that's appropriate for your truck and for your applications. The bars come in four different lengths. So over here we have the components laid out so we can go over some of the detailed information about these racks. So this tower or upright is constructed of very durable aluminum alloy and with a, with a high quality powder coat finish to it. It's the height adjustable feature is can be adjusted by loosening up the four fasteners and on the back side here you have the indication of where you can position them that way it's very easy to make sure that all four are at the exact same height also on the back side of this upright you have a tie down point so a unique feature to this rack is that it's actually two pieces the upright includes the this portion as well as this base so this particular base is designed for vehicles that have an open bed rail that are approved by Yakima for the fit. There's also different kits that allow for attachment to other applications, which might be a truck bed cover or perhaps a track system that's inside of a truck bed. But in this case, we'll be focusing on the open bed rail type application. So there's also a full assortment of tools that are included. So some of these tools are unique in that they have a tamper resistant method of, of attaching. So here you can see we have a, a pin inside the hex and this is a hollow point hex head to provide a good anti-theft deterrent. There's also a lock mechanism for a keyed deterrent as well. So let's go ahead and do the installation of the upright. So for starters we'll go ahead and take this, this base and some of the fasteners that are required and follow me over to the truck bed. So the distance between the, the front upright and the back is 16 inches based on the opposite side. So I'll go ahead and position this one at the same distance at our 16 inches. It's important that you keep it consistent in that positioning there. So we're having this rest directly on the bed rail. It does have a very protective rubber base to it. And here we have the clamps that will be pressing against the underside. Those two have a protective outer ad adhesive. So let me go ahead and drop in these fasteners. So we have very strong 12 millimeter fasteners that'll drop through a slot. So both are slotted. The front is slightly more slotted. The idea is that we're, we're, these are designed to allow for adjustability in case there's any obstructions in the underside of the bed rail which is not uncommon so this gives you more flexibility in positioning so that you can have that right where it needs to be without any obstructions so I have one of them started and you start the next so I just begin those by hand and then I can finish it off with the supplied wrench So Yakima includes excellent illustrated instructions that accompany this, this rack to ensure that you have an easy installation and that it's done all in the proper order and sequences to make it simple. So it's always a good idea to review those but prior to unboxing and unpacking the product. Okay, so we got those in position. Now you'll notice we have a fastener here that will angle this plate away from this area and allow us to insert the upright. So I'm going to go ahead and get the upright. Okay, so now I have the upright in hand and I have the tool that's needed to loosen this fastener. 
So all we have to do is loosen the fastener and as you can see that plate will begin to angle away and then I can drop in the upright and then tighten it back up again. And so that gives us a couple things here. So one is that it's, it's covered up our bolts so that you no longer have access to those bolts. And also provides a very strong attachment for the upright. Okay, you'll notice that this is a non-tamper resistant fastener. So with this design, Yakima has, has dictated that the driver's side is where your locking mechanisms are installed. So you'll notice we have this, this lock connection point and this is our lock housing. So we just wanna align that fastener there with the hole and then insert it and lock. And now you'll notice you have this side locked, also the front locked. By having the driver side locked, it essentially locks up the entire rack system because you would not be able to remove the, the rack system without this side being unlocked. Okay, so the next step is the installation of the load bars. And to install the load bars, this is the load bar. And again, this is extruded aluminum with a durable powder coat finish. It also has a track on the top, which can accommodate track specific carriers. The end cap has the bar, which works with Yakima's heavy duty load straps. Let me go ahead and take off the end cap. With the end cap removed, I can insert the bolt plates. Okay, so we'll slide the bolt plates into place. And we'll just move those towards the center of the track on the underside. And then we can reinstall the end cap. Again, the tools provided for all these, all these fasteners. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the, the truck bed. What we'll wanna do here, again, you'll notice, similar to the uprights where it has the, the incremental measurements, we also have incremental measurements on the underside of the bar. And that will help us to uh, center the bar. We'll keep these bolt plates towards the center of the bar temporarily. And place the position the bar and we can use those measurements to help center the bar as well next we'll take the fasteners we have a, a lock washer a flat washer and a and the bolt here again we have the security tool the security tool with the security fastener what I want to do is take the driver's side bolt plate and bring it over and align it with the hole on the underside. And with that one installed, I'll do the opposite side. There's two bolts on each side. Okay, so that's the first one. And then the other bolt plate hole will automatically be centered up there for me to make it easy. Let me loosen this one just a touch so it has some little bit of leeway. Okay. Okay, and then one final bolt, and that would be the completion of the assembly. So as you can see, this rack system is secure, lightweight, only 60 pounds, because it's using the lightweight aluminum material, yet it has a very high weight carrying capacity. 500 pounds of dynamic load capacity while driving on the road, 300 pounds of load capacity while driving off-road, and a full 800 pound load capacity while parked 
which makes it ideally suited for rooftop tents and uh, a full assortment of other gear. So this system not only has a wide range of recreational and off-road accessories, you'll notice there's two threaded connection points. That is for an accessory bar that also has uh, additional accessories. So this rack system really offers a, the widest possible range of usefulness with all the variety of, of accessories that are available for it. So this product, along with the full line of Yakima products, are available at rackoutfitters.com. Please see the link in our video description for complete details, our pricing, and our promotions, and thanks for watching.